We are at Historic Center. They're going to be painting the fence with the volunteer team from the Big Y. It's the All-Star team. The All-Star team, that's right. We're volunteered to paint today. They're putting their names on their hats. Everybody gets a painter's hat. And watermelon and ice cream. So it is really. Oh, Tom, sorry, kind of a party. I'm gonna go get some watermelon. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Lori Sanders, and I can't tell you how thrilled I am with the response because we are 50 now or so, and we are gonna gather numbers. I I had sent out the email that we had a hundred painters out. Well. On the QT, I actually have 150, so I don't I don't expect we're going to have any painters hats left over uh, by the time today is over. But uh, it's been so exciting because this is just a, a fun event. It's beautifying. It's community building, and thanks to all of you, and thanks to our business sponsors and the organizations who have sponsored sections of fence and half sections of fence. In two weeks, we've raised over $10,000. Woo! And uh, as many of you or all of you know, we're going to take those funds and we're going to invest them in brand new wooden shutters for this building, which we've just had painted by Phil Dowling, who's over on that Woo! side. And this crew also painted the Parsons house. So all of this painting of the buildings has just happened in the last six weeks. So we're we're doing lots of great things. And now the sort of the grand finale is the is the fence painting. Um, Betty's going to explain how the fence painting is is going to happen. But I just want to thank all of you for coming. And um, I also really want to call out uh, Phil for coming here and helping with all of the parts and pieces related to painting. To Megan Sullivan, who's the owner of Joe's Pizza, without whom we could not. And, and I also uh, want to call out Hasty Fence, who was incredible. The guys came last night. The, the two pieces that we are not going to paint are those pieces of pressure treated wood. The guys came yesterday and installed it, and they were sunk in cement. The men were just dripping with sweat. So, um, but they replaced all the caps and the number of rails that we had rotted so that was terrific and the other person who played an instrumental role is Judith Fine helping us coordinate with the Chamber of Commerce and the Downtown Northampton Association so that all of you who are here know that at around well in about an hour and ten minutes after you finish painting for those of you who are interested you can drop off your paintbrushes and you can follow the expandable brass band into town take part in the summer stroll. So thank you all for coming. I'm going to turn it over to Betty Sharp, the other co-director on the logistics, but I can't say, tell you how pleased I am that you're all here. Thank you all for being here. Um, we're going to ask you to work in your groups, so if there are two of you or three or four of you to stick together, go over to Phil, who's pouring paint into cups. Each of you can get a cup or two of you can work out of a cup and get your, at least have your own paintbrush. And then we're going to ask you to start all the way down at the other end. And somebody is going to be down there who's going to be directing you in how to do it. The main point is that one person is going to be on one side of the fence and the other person on the other side of the fence so that you can catch each other's trips. Okay, so uh, as you go ahead and do that, I know it's going to take a little bit of time. He's just pouring that out now. Be sure to get your painter's hat and decorate it. So it serves as a nice name tag. So we're going to, um, I'm going to go over there and we're going to start telling people which section of the, uh, of the fence to paint. Okay? So we'll get busy. So we'll, we'll just go from there all the way down, 30 sections of fence. One hour. We'll be done. Okay. <laughs> Dip the brush in. There are two methods of then next step. So there's drip 
paint dripping off the brush, and obviously you don't want that. So the, if you're really uh, brave and you want to be a professional, you slap it. No more drips. Otherwise, just do a little white. Okay? Anybody got questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. No, 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 no. See, it would have been perfect if it was Becky, but it's not. <laughs> and your last name? Uh, How old are you? We want to study this technique. You guys are like the fastest painters yet. <laughs> Well oiled team. <laughs> you should see us when we're making snowmen. I'm trying to get the bottoms of things. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. 